Hi, I'm Kevin Davis. I'm the leader of the plant pigments team here at Plant and Food Research in Palmerston North. I think I always knew I wanted to be a scientist because I loved the natural world and wanted to understand how it operated. And being a vegetarian, plant biology seemed a, lot, a natural choice. So I did a degree in genetics at Birmingham and then a PhD at Nottingham in tomato fruit ripening and then came out to New Zealand to work in a small research centre in a, a very small town of Levin. So that was 20 years ago and I've been in science in New Zealand ever since then. So the team I lead is currently working on understanding how plant pigments are formed and what their purposes are. We might all think of pigments for flowers and fruit for attracting pollinators and seed agents, but they also have lots of other roles in plants. So we're trying to understand the genetics and function of plant pigments so we can breed better ornamental cultivars with new colours and also vegetables which have new colours and new human health properties. Uh, the science we do I think has a lot of great potential. Um, one is just for breeding new varieties of crops. So consumers often choose what fruit or flowers they want based on the colour. But also we are more recently over the last few years discovering all the extra benefits of um, pigments in the diet, a lot of human health benefits. So that's an area for the future which I think is going to be very big. So some of the science I'm most proud of. Um, I'd have to say understanding some of the really complex pigment patterns that can form in plants. So we may be familiar with them from orchid flowers, for example, all the wonderful stripes and spots that you see. So we did some research on the genetic control of that and the function, and it all went really well, and it ended up on the cover of one of the top plant science journals, The Plant Cell. It's uh, very hard to choose one thing that I like most about science, because I really love so many things about science, but it's probably just being part of a scientific community, being part of a team, bouncing ideas around, trying to solve problems, and being part of the international science community, working with collaborators, and also working with students, PhD and MSc students. It, it's very inspiring, and I really like the um, community of scientists. <laughs>